صلى عليك الله يا خير الورى تعداد حبات الذمال وأكثرا صلى عليك الله ما غيث هم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وآل بيته وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Dear friends, beloved audience, in this auspicious occasion Now I'm here to say some words about the relevant subject The love of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So first and foremost, I praise the Almighty Allah Who bless me with this opportunity Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal Dears, the love of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the essence of every blissman and happiness of every Muslim and it is the only one way of becoming triumphant in here and hereafter as Allah says in the Holy Quran addressing His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّنَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُنِي يُحْبُبُكُمُ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ O Prophet, say, if you love Allah, follow me Allah will love you and forgive you your sins Allah is forgiving and merciful so it is obvious from the sacred verse that if a person seeks Allah's love and his forgiveness, so he must love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa at first. Because the loving of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the only one existence of this universe itself. As is it narrated in a hadith al-Qudsi, So, in his finding his love, one should bear so many suffering, so many troubles, so many problems in the completing his love for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Dears, even Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was so sincere in his love towards his companions. Thus, they loved him back very well. Even they were ready to sacrifice their life for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Islam. Just take an example of Hazrat Abu Dujan one. Once he came to Abu Bakr and said, You were so fortunate because of your relationship with Prophet. And even Prophet also slept in your lap. Then he was repeating such words and Hazrat Abu Bakr asked him, What do you want? Please say clearly. He replied, I want to just embrace Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then Hazrat Abu Bakr prayed Allah to fulfill his dream and his dream came to reality during the war of Uhud when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was targeted by enemies and they were attacking the Islamic community and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seeing this Hazrat Abu Dujan Radiallahu Anhu stormed to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and embraced him. Then he shouted with the extreme voice, O oh, enemies of Islam, you can do anything. My Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is enough for me. Then he stopped all the arrows coming from enemies and lastly he became martyr Shaheed. So dears, this is just an example of a great lover of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, we can do also these things as they have done. And now think, what you have done for Islam? What you have done of existing of Islam? What you have done for the love of love of Muhammad Wasallam? Nothing. The answer will be a big zero. Dears, Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, also a lover of Muhammad Wasallam. Hazrat Bilal radiallahu anhu, also a great lover of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and even Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also encourages us on his love by his, a lot of hadith and even, even Allah also revealed an ayah by giving reverence and preference to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as Allah says in the Holy Quran an nabiyyu awla bil mu'minina min anfusihim wa azwajuhu ummahatuh the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is closer to the believers than their own selves and his wives are their mothers. So it is obvious from the sacred words that if one person 
felt sickness, he will take the medicines. And if we become sick, we take medicine. If we become tired, we create a sleep. If we become hungry, we eat. This all thing we do for our own self because we prefer ourselves at first than everything. But in reality, we have to prefer Prophet at first than ourselves also. That's Allah says in the Holy Quran, an bil mu'minin min anfusihim. So yes, we have to love Prophet very well. And even having been captivated by his love, Imam Ahmad Raza Khan, Fazil Ibrahim Rahmatullah, couldn't stop to call him that. Nigahe ishka masti me, wahi awwal, wahi akhir, wahi Quran, wahi Furqan, wahi toha, wahi yasin. So in this eyes, the Prophet is all for them. He is all for them. By his loving, they got exalted position. So dears, we can do also these things as our ancestors has done. Ancestors have done. So we just follow Prophet very well and pave our way, pave our life according his hadith, according his ways. May Allah bless us all. I won't I don't want to prolong my speech. I come over here. So keep in touch. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.